He said a Detroit style. What's up, champ? Town. Footage for days. And we told you this is Public Enemy Week. You heard from Griff. You heard from Chuck. And you definitely going to hear from no other than my boy, Flavor Flay. What's up, Flay? I'm laughing, baby. How you doing, my Hang brother? You know what's how we doing. No, what's going on? Giving Detroit some love. What's up? Shout out. Hey, yo, man. I love Detroit, man. You know what I'm saying? Mad Shout always goes out to the Motor City. You know what I'm saying? Word up. And also, um, I remember the first time that I ever flew on an airplane. First time that I ever flew on. Oh, thank you, bro. The first time that I ever flew on a plane was to Detroit. And we had to do a show with the Beastie Boys at the Fox Theater. I remember that. Right. Yo, man, and when I got to Detroit and I got to see how beautiful the city was, you know, and that really bugged me out, being able to um, go down to the, to the riverway and look across the water and you're looking at another country. It bugged me out for the first time. I'm like, that ain't no Canada over there. They said, yes, it is. I said, word. Yo, I was, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But always loved me some Detroit, though. So I've always had it going on. Let's go back in the day when you first got with Public Gamer, y'all first formed the group. A lot of people want to know the history of how Flavor Flav got down and what was his perspective. And, you know, was that something you wanted to do or it just kind of happened? Or well, my perspective that you guys started off in a radio show, is that correct? Yeah, you know, we started off as radio jocks, you know what I'm saying? I mean, really, we didn't start off as radio jocks. We started off as a mobile disc jockey unit called Spectrum City, you know. And, um, you know, Chuck, my partner Chuck and my partner Hank Shockley, you know, they had a mobile disc jockey system going on with my partner Keith Shockley. And, you know, I um, ended up you know, coming within the circuit, you know what I'm saying? Because I was a musician, then always I had funny jokes, always mad jokes, you know, and um, I finally ended up, okay, I finally ended up uh, getting together with these guys. Next thing you know, I became part of the group. Next thing you know, we ended up at a radio station um, at a, a Delphi College, you know, where Chuck and um, Bill Stephanie was attending. Okay, I'll be right up. I um, didn't have a diploma or anything, but they let me take the communications course so I can get my FM license. So that's how I became having my own radio show. You know what I'm saying? And all right, um, huh? Uh, wait. Um. Anyway, so um, back to what I was saying. All right. Wait, my hold up. Don't leave me, G. Hold on. So anyway, so um. Next thing you know, um, we had all kinds of guys like Run DMC, Fat Boys, Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, all of the, you know, all of the fellas coming around down to the show, helping us out and everything. And um, we used to make tapes for our own radio show. We made a tape called Public Enemy Number One. Yo, I went up in, the, in there, Chuck was doing this Public Enemy Number One thing. I told Chuck a story. He said, yo, put the put your put that on the beginning of this tape. I put the story on the tape, and that's when I said, yo, Chuck, I was on my way up here to the studio, man. And you know, this brother stopped me and asked me, yo, what's up with that brother Chucky D? He swear he nice. You know, that's how that came about. Ah, y'all need to know that. But you know, ever since then we put the record out, run them, had us hook up with Russell Simmons and them. We put the record out and here we are today. Favorite, favorite public enemy track of all time, your opinion, yours. What, my favorite? Yeah. Um, public enemy number one.